Hey, 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 what's up? It's Charles. Good morning, Staradite. Today I've got a really exciting video for you because, and, and, and you're probably wondering why I'm in my bedroom here. This is my bedroom. Uh, the reason I'm in here is because one thing that really sucks about Serbia, living in Serbia, living in concrete homes on the ninth floor of a big apartment building, Whenever somebody on the first floor is doing some uh, some work on their home, like cutting pipes or whatever the hell it is, it echoes and vibrates all through the whole darn freaking house, man. Drives me nuts. There's this noise. And when you go in the bathroom, it sounds like they're right there in the bathroom with you because these, these pipes come up through there. Jesus, it drives me nuts. I'm, I'm, I'm somewhat mental, a mental case anyway. And uh, it's forced me, you know, that I, I don't drink rakia just for fun, but I do it because I have to sometimes. And, and that thing, that, that's one reason why I had to do it today, okay? <sighs> Nothing like drinking a big shot of that. <coughs> oh, right when you wake up. And I just woke up. Okay, but it'll wake you up, okay? Way better than coffee will. Today what we're going to do really quick, I'm going to finally, all of those who, who, who watch my videos, you know I have been using this Nokia 3510 since I came to Serbia in 2010. Okay? Isn't that amazing? Every single Serbian kid, I travel around Serbia, I go to schools, I speak at schools to kids about youth activism, American culture, say Serbia, different things. And every little child here in Serbia, well not everyone, but a lot of them say, hey, I want to see your iPhone, I've never seen an iPhone. And I'll pull out this, I said, this is my Serbian iPhone, baby. Today, we're going to destroy this son of a bitch with this knife that a wonderful Serbian guy made and I use it for protection here. Not that I need it in Serbia, but it's nice to have around, you know? I'm gonna destroy this son of a bitch because I finally got rid of it, and I finally moved up in the world, thanks to some friends of mine, because I've got lots of good friends. ZTE Touchscreen Blade, it's a Blade G. A wonderful family, the Kristich family, one of them, Slobo Sloboda, and he lives in San Francisco, or he lives in California somewhere. Forgive me, I don't remember if it was San Francisco. And his brother, Misha, lives in Niche, and he works for Telenor. And they were nice enough to give me a phone to use here in Serbia. And it's a really awesome phone. And you know what really sucks already is people can, app can always see when I'm online. I've got Viber now. And I've really moved up. It's so much better than this old piece of shit Nokia, you know. I couldn't believe it. So I, I, I'm very, very happy that I have it. Thank you, Havala Vampuno. But let's, real quick, uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, phone service here. You know, I've mentioned this to some foreigners. Srni uh, Serbi Productions, you know, uh, Jabril, I think is how you say his name. He is actually here in Serbia. He called me yesterday, and I was just I was just woke up. It was around 8, 30, 8, 9, and I just woke up, and the phone rang. And I usually don't answer the phone if I don't know who it is. And I pick up the phone, and I said, yes. And he said, Charles, blah, blah, blah. And I said, who is this? I was kind of rude, because I don't like to talk on the phone, and especially if I don't know who it is. And he said, hey, this is uh, the black Serb uh, from California that made all those videos. I'm like, what? man, thank you for calling me. So he was here, he's in Panchevo, he's getting ready to go to Navi Sad, he's looking for an apartment, he bought a one-way ticket here, so good to see you, brother, I can't wait to meet you in person, we're going to meet up and hopefully do a little video together, because that would be really, really sweet, he's like my idol. Uh, so, he called me, and we discussed phones, because he said, I said, do you have a phone, and he said he didn't. One thing a lot of people don't know, okay, in the United States of America, there's a, a system, and, and forgive me because I'm not the smartest guy on the planet, but Missy, my dear sister, sent me this phone over here, this Blackberry, which I use all the time because I use it for music. I love this uh, for music and I set my schedule and stuff in here, but it does not work in Serbia. So a lot of you that come to Serbia from the United States, if you use CDMA technology on your phone, it will not work in Serbia, okay? Everything here in Serbia is done with little SIM cards, okay? 
I've mentioned this in videos before, all you need to do in Serbia, and it's, it's even different in Palestine, but some of my best friends here, I'm, important, I'm supporting the Palestinian cause, baby, uh, free Palestine, uh, but some of my best friends now are Palestinians here, and we're doing this big thing together at the Japanese embassy uh, to try to bring American culture Palestinians together in a peaceful way, uh, but that's off point, but we were discussing cell phone usage here in Serbia. And they said, even in Palestine, to get a cell phone, you have to show your ID, you have to have your name, your address, and everything written down. It's got to be, you know, knowledge, public knowledge, or uh, knowledge for the phone company, whatever, you know, so that people can trace you. Serbia, it's not that way. You know, it's so funny. You, you go up to a trafficker, you pay 250 diners, which is like $3, you know, and $3, $3.50, whatever. And you get your own phone number, you know. And that's all you have to do. You don't have to give your name, your address, nothing, you know. So in the USA, you can never do that because everything's on Homeland Security and tracing you. So the freedom is not in the United States. The freedom is here in Serbia. You can do whatever you want. But this phone, I took it in to a uh, Telenor shop. And I said, hey, where is the slot on here for my SIM card? I can't figure it out. And he looked at it and he said, oh, this will not work. He said, this phone will never work to talk on, you know, you can't, you, I said, excuse me? I said, I, you know, I've used them before many, many, many times. And he said, no, there's no SIM card. I said, well, it doesn't need one, I guess. But, you know, if you have CDMA card, it will not work in Serbia, so don't even try it, okay? That's why I was using this old piece of shit, but now I've got this good one. So, ZTE, this is an absolutely amazing phone, really. And I looked online trying to find some um, demonstrations and stuff for it, but I couldn't find too many. So I'm going to have to make one myself for idiots, you know. But anyway, today, to get rid of this 3510, let, let me, first of all, before I destroy it, Nokia is an amazing, amazing brand. This phone here is so hard. You can do whatever you want with this phone, and it works. I've washed this phone accidentally for a minute. I put, had it in my pocket, and I heard it thump, and I opened it. It was wet. It worked again. I just opened it and dried it. Uh, the battery in this thing, it will last a week. Uh, you know, just such a damn good phone. Nokia makes awesome, awesome phones that are almost indestructible. Look at this. I'm, I'm a little peachka kind of, but you can't even harm this thing, you know? So anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to cut this son of a bitch up because I'm sick and tired of this phone, and I want to do some damage to it after all these years of dealing and being humiliated I can't even destroy this phone with a knife man you know so, <laughs> oh, wow look at this I'm hammering on this phone and I cannot break it I'm gonna end up breaking my wrist is what I'm gonna do oh man I'll probably get glass in, in my bed if I do that oh that's plastic anyway this knife is a good knife, though, too. Oh, there we go. Good. We're cutting it. Oh, this knife's great. You can see. Oh, my God. Oh, jeez. I wonder if you can see that. Filthy. Filthy dirty. To, to, to text message with these type of phones, I mean, it just gives you... Oh, that's disgusting. It's like the filthiest thing I've ever seen in my life. And to know my mouth was that close to that, you know. Unbelievable phone. You know, ah, forget it, man. I can't even destroy it. But anyway, I've actually moved up in the world. I'm now available on Viber and everything. So I would love, you know, please don't don't just send me a million messages. I mean, just now I'm, I'm getting messages from, uh, like, Gmail. All my Gmail contacts are sending me messages. It says, it says right now, what's this say? Let me read it. Check it. But I, ah, where the hell did it go? It says, so-and-so wants to speak to you, to chat with you. Say yes or no. Uh, I don't want to chat with anybody. And that's what I hate about phones. I don't use it very often. But anyway, I've moved up. Awesome, awesome phone. You know, thank you, Chris Stitch family. And man, really, Nokia. You, I can't, I, I feel embarrassed here because I can't even destroy you. And I'm going to slip my hand by doing it. Ah, dude, indestructible, baby. 
I can't even break this phone if I want to. I bet if I put the battery in, it would work, you know? But, uh, good phone. Mm -hmm. I miss you. I'm gonna miss you, Nokia. I'm, really, I might cry. If I drink one more Rocky, I might cry. But this phone is going in the trash. That's it, my friends. If you need a phone when you come to Serbia, you know, don't bring a CDMA phone because it will not work. Blackberry's awesome. I love it. I use it for music. I like the music clarity. I like the... I just like the setup of the keyboard and all that stuff. I've never been big on, like, touch screens, you know, personally. But I'm old. And so that's really it. Beautiful day outside. We're going to be... Uh, I'm going to be doing a couple different conferences here in Serbia. Me and my Palestinian pals. Uh, you know, Palestine, not to preach political stuff on you, and I, I've got people that disagree probably, but the Palestinians are very, very close to me and very dear to me. And uh, we, we've thought, you know, there was, there was a big thing in Time Magazine, the countries that hate America the most, and Palestinian, Palestine was number one. The Palestinian territories, or uh, how do they even call it? because it's not been recognized by the United States. But anyway, uh, they are the biggest haters of America. So uh, we, we decided, because we're really good friends, we're going to do something good for humanity and find a way to, to show the world that, hey, they're Palestinians. They don't like the American government. I'm an American, and I'm friends with them, you know? So we're going to do a couple different conferences. We're talking about doing some Balkan conference of peace and, and ways to bring people together just to meet, to talk, to discuss, and debate in a friendly manner. And I think it'll be awesome, you know, and that's what the world needs more of, you know. You can sit there in your own little world behind your own keyboard and hate somebody that you've never met, but it's so much different when you sit down face to face and you find out, hey, they laugh, they cry, they eat, you know, they're just like you and me, you know. You need to find that common ground, and that common ground is what makes us you know, humans different from, from a amoeba, you know. I don't know, amoebas maybe uh, do the same thing, but I doubt it, you know. So anyway, that's what we're going to do. We're going to do some of those. It's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, anyway, that's it. Yes, I'm Malo Pian. Wow, I drank two of these. And, you know, you, you know, I need to do a video where I drink, like, consecutive shots. And I can, like, do a time lapse maybe, you know. I'll drink one shot, big one, of Rakia and then talk about my symptoms, and then do my second one, talk about my symptoms, third, fourth, fifth, until I'm no longer capable, you know. I think that would be a lot of fun. You can see the, uh, what this will do. This Rakia here was awesome. It was given to me by uh, one of the older gentlemen in Krupan. The Red Cross guy went and got it for me for helping him in Krupan, and I'm up to here already, so. Does that make me an alcoholic? Nah. It's only been like, what? A week and a half, and I'm down to here. So I drink one usually. Usually, this is how I do. So you don't think I'm a total alcoholic. Usually, every morning I do drink one because I've spoken to many older Serbians that do that, and that's how they live long. You know, I put it up to here. I drink one in the morning, and today I drank two, and whoo! I got a little bit of a buzz, and I gotta go. I got things to do today. I'm going to Nish. I gotta speak at a school down in Nish on Wednesday. Uh, I gotta meet my my buddy from the Red Cross. Uh, we're gonna do some interviews with some of these volunteers from the Red Cross to find out a little bit of what's going on now. Because a lot of these Serbians uh, around the world in the diaspora are messaging me saying, "Hey, we pulled together all these donations. Is it still needed? What's going on?" Because all of a sudden, you know, four days it took CNN to to broadcast that there was a problem, and then they broadcast it a couple days. Now it's forgotten, and that's a problem. You know. When, when there's a disaster, everybody all of a sudden is interested in it, and then all of a sudden it's faded, and everybody forgets, even volunteers. So everything's still going well here. Uh, there's a lot of things going on. Uh, we're going to talk today. I'm meeting my buddy at 2, and we're going to talk about maybe going to Obrenovats and volunteering. There's a lot of crap, a lot of disease, uh, or dirt and mud, muck, and possible disease. Uh, so we're going to see what's going on, and I'll update you with that with some of the, the locals. Anyway, that's it. My filthy Nokia that I can't even fucking destroy. I can't believe I can't even break it. Man, if I was a Serbian, I would have bigger muscles, you know, and I could maybe break it. But anyway, I cannot, and that's why these things are indestructible. That's it, my friends. Prijetno, do vidjenja.